Good morning, fourth grade. So today I'm going to walk you through 7.2 in math, which is about number lines and fractions that are on a number line. So some of you guys are going to start seeing 7.2 on your Think Central, and it's a confusing topic. So let's go over it. So today what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at a number line. And we know that fractions are any number that's between a whole number. So if you look here, you have zero fourths. Well, when your numerator is zero, you know that that, fra that fraction is actually equal to zero. And here on this side of the, the number line, we have four fourths. And if you remember, when the numerator is the same as the denominator, in this case, four and four, then that fraction is equal to one whole. So here we have a number line that's between zero and one whole. And so one fourth is in between, two fourths and three fourths are all in between zero and one whole. Now if we look down here, it says these number lines are divided to show different fractions. So if you look, it says A, B, C, D, and so on. And those are going to be the fractions that you're going to write at the bottom of the page here, where it says to identify the points. So if you look at A, we have to figure out what's the fraction on this number line. So we see that the number line goes from 0 to 5, and then there's the fractions that are above it. So you have 0 halves, 1 half, 2 halves, or that's also equal to 1 whole, three halves, four halves, which is equal to two, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves. Then we have a blank right here and we have 10 halves. So what would this blank here be? Well, I look and I see eight halves is here and I see 10 halves is here. So this blank would be nine halves. So then down here where it says identify points, where I see the A, I'm gonna write nine halves because that's what goes on the number line right here. Now for B, I see the number line goes from zero all the way to five. And there's going to be fractions and whole numbers that are in between that number line. So here, and we're just gonna count it out. So we see zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, which is equal to one whole, well, what comes next? That's what you'll write here for B. And that's what you guys are gonna be working on today is just understanding that fractions break apart whole numbers on a number line.